Meghan Markle was reportedly left upset that Pippa Middleton initially refused to invite her to her wedding out of fear she could steal the show, a royal expert has claimed. The reason behind it is that Pippa Middleton's parents expressed harbored concerns about the Duchess of Sussex's presence, according to royal commentator and GB News presenter Camilla Tomini, who claimed that prompted Pippa to first decline to invite Meghan to her wedding in 2017. Writing in The Telegraph, Ms. Tomini recalled that Princess Gate's sister perhaps feared she would be upstaged by Harry's girlfriend at her wedding. Against her parents' advice, Pippa eventually decided to send an invitation to Meghan to the evening celebration for the sake of keeping the peace. However, the Duchess chose not to show up at the ceremony in St. Mark's Church, raising some royal eyebrows. According to a royal source, the Sussexes did not want to attract too much attention and upstage the newlywed couple on their special day. She made an entrance only later at the wedding reception at the Middleton family home in Bucklebury, England. Prince Harry reportedly left the ceremony, drove an hour and a half back to London to pick up Markle and then another hour and a half to the Middleton estate for the reception, Harper's Bazaar reported. At the time, Harry and Meghan's relationship was not yet official and known to the public. Showing up together at the public event would have attracted the press and overshadowed Pippa's wedding to James Matthews. In their book Finding Freedom, the experts Somit Scobie and Caroline Durand claim that the couple had been hesitant to attend the wedding together. However, when a story on the wedding day compared Pippa and Meghan's bottoms, it was decided that Meghan should not go. The royal experts said in their book, Harry and Meghan agreed that she couldn't possibly turn up at the church, only 50 meters away from a specially arranged media pen, after such a crass cover story. After reportedly landing in London after a 300-mile fly from America, Meghan was picked up by Harry who drove her all the way to Bucklebury. Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand claimed the pair had booked an Airbnb in Berkshire for Meghan to avoid the 150-mile trip. But the Sussexes had to split again, this time at the, the wedding table. Under Pippa's unconventional seating plan chart, couples were not allowed to sit together, according to The Telegraph, which reported Pippa was adamant to follow the no-ring-no-bring rule at her wedding. Instead, Meghan shared a table with Roger Federer's wife, Mirka. Harry and Meghan were then reunited after dinner, where they caught up about their evening apart by the dance floor. The pair were then driven back to Harry's home Nottingham cottage at Kensington Palace in the early hours. Less than three years after the, the wedding, the Sussexes decided to leave the royal family out of concern for their safety and what they termed the palace's war against Meghan. In their Netflix docuseries released last month, Meghan and Harry accused the royal household of deliberately planting negative stories about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to deflect attention from less favorable coverage of other royals as part of what a lawyer calls a war against Meghan. The Duke also accused his brother Prince William of breaking their promise to never use their press offices against one another. He doubled down on his accusations in media interviews in America. Speaking to Anderson Cooper on CBS's 60 Minutes, Harry revealed he was not invited on the plane to visit the late Queen with the rest of the royal family on the day she died. He also revealed he is not on speaking terms with William after a full-scale rupture between himself and the royal family. But he hopes that his relationship with his brother could be healed, telling Mr. Cooper, I look forward to us being able to find peace. Read next.